In this tutorial, I show you how to save Blender compositing work without re-rendering using a new trick in Blender 4.2. So let's get started. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you this new trick I found out in Blender 4.2, which lets you save your compositing work without having to re-render your project. It's a very cool trick because this is an issue that a lot of people faced before Blender 4.2 came out. And I think a lot of people are going to be having fun with this little trick that's come out. And I don't even think it's been documented in release notes. I say that because I have been checking the release notes for Blender 4.2 ever since it was an alpha. I was very interested in it, especially EV Next. And now this out and I'm seeing this trick, it seems very cool. So all you need for this is a GPU which Blender can recognize. And I think what you're going to need to do is set it up with the Cycles render devices. If you can't do that, then this tutorial will probably not work for you, but I still gave it a go. So as you can see, this is my scene right here. So we're just going to render this quickly. Okay, so there we are. That's our render. It is in composite mode. However, what it is meant to be showing is ambient occlusion, which isn't there. If we go here, you can say you can see it's composite. You change it to view layer. It's just the combined pass. So this scene does have compositing on it. And if we change this multiply node right here to be plugged into the composite node, we should expect our render layer to look like this. However, it doesn't. This is where the GPU thing comes in. So Blender 4.2 released with GPU accelerated compositing, which is great because compositing used to be very slow with CPUs. But now that we've got GPU compositing, I absolutely love it and I've been trying it out. And one thing that I found is that it literally updates the render layer for you. So if we go right here to performance right here, so just open this panel called compositor right here and change the device to GPU. Of course, this is where I say set up your GPU. And if we just change to the original setup, obviously we'll not see any change just yet because we've just changed it to original setup again. But if we plug in this multiply node now, you will see that it updates. And this is great because now all you can do is just go to image, save as, and then there you go. It's a very easy trick. And I'm so happy that there is now a way of getting your compositing very easily without having to re-render. It's just amazing. It is sad that this only works for GPU. I don't know why it only works for GPU. I think it might even be a bug. I don't know. I have been looking through the options as well, and I don't see anything which I sh I've got auto render on, but I tried that with CPU and it didn't do the same thing. So I don't know. Either way, this is an amazing trick and I hope you guys can use this to your advantage. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.